Hello, I'm Scott Boyle. Welcome to my studio. I'm going to talk about a painting I've been working on for a couple of weeks. Last summer, my wife and I went to Yosemite Valley. This is a little different for me because most of my scenes that I paint that I love to paint are North Carolina mountain scenes. Uh, but uh, this time, uh, I'm uh, well, when we were in California in Yosemite Valley, it was just the most amazing place. And uh, I actually brought my paints with me and I, I did some small paintings. One of the paintings I did um, last summer, this was uh, late May, 1st of June, was this scene here, this iconic view of Half Dome Mountain in the meadow. And there was this, uh, some sort of a California oak tree that was silhouetted. Uh, against the atmosphere and the, the sunlight. <clears throat> so, uh, my painting here, this is my, what I would call my fourth pass on this painting. Uh, my personality, I don't normally complete a painting in, in one session. I do multiple sessions. Sometimes <laughs> they never get finished, but so, this time I uh, had uh, a little bit of time to step back and, and uh, take a look at it now. And the thing that jumps out at me, which sometimes I make this uh, uh, I guess my word is uh, the sky is too colorful here. And so sometimes you have to have to compromise a certain area. Even though I love the sky, I love the clouds and all, sometimes you have to compromise an area to bring out uh, and make other things stronger. And so <clears throat> I'm just going to gray the sky down. The other thing I want to do is I want to darken this tree. As I look at my um, study here that I did, this is a 9 by 12. And uh, come on over here and, and, and take a look. This is a drawing I did. I decided that in, in my large painting, I wanted to move this tree over just a little bit. This tree is really close to the center of the painting. And as you look over here, uh, the actual center of the painting would be approximately right here. So the tree is, is, is weighted more to the right hand side compared to, um, well, it, it's, it's shifted a nano whisker, but uh, I did try to keep it heavier on the right side. So anyways, uh, let me get a clean brush and so I just want to gray the sky down a little bit, just knock some of this color out because it's just too colorful. into these trees. Now, that, that already seemed to make it feel better to me, so. And this is a very thin, and I'm gonna work on the shape of this cloud here. I think I'll probably pull it in up against the border of the canvas a little bit. Okay, now let me darken the tree and uh, and I'm looking at this right in here, so um, so I'm just trying to overall and, and what, what this will do by darkening the, the shadow of the inside of this tree is it will it will draw it up closer to you and it will set the mountain back in the distance more. It, it's just going to make the the tree heavier. Um,
and the light here is coming from in your face basically but it's it's this the sun is this is about 11 o'clock in the morning and the uh, cumulus clouds are starting to build up and you actually have a rain shower developing over here and uh, so the lights coming down here and as you can see the shadow of the tree is running off to the right a little bit so the sun's hitting from behind the tree, a backlit situation, and the light will be coming through the tree and around the edges, and I'm gonna highlight the tree a little, uh, a little bit more. Let me, I'm gonna make a little richer green down in here. A little richer green up against the trunks. as the lights coming through those leaves. And uh, there's actually some orange tones in there. that tree is starting to pop, I guess you'd say pop against the mountain. And uh, I have my computer screen right here. Let me show you. The only thing I have, I was, I'm real bad about painting outdoors and forgetting to get my camera out. I got a really nice camera and oftentimes I forget to take a picture of the scene I'm painting because uh, photos do help me a lot to um, maybe refine some drawing issues that I may have overlooked to being in such a hurry and in a rush. But as you can see, come over here and you can see this, this is the only scene basically I got was this one and this one. This is not the tree that I painted. The other the tree, you'd have to step back. This actually may be the, the left edge of the big tree that I was painting. So, um, uh, so in, in other cases, as you walk uh, closer to trees, they get bigger and the mountain gets smaller. As you back up with close objects, the tree gets smaller and the mountain appears bigger. So as you step back, um, the... Um, See, as I put some highlights on that tree, that really, uh, and that, that may be actually more than it can bear. Uh, another thing I will try to do here is, before I finish this little short, uh, little video presentation in my studio, I'm going to darken these trees right in here. I'm going to, I need a bigger brush, don't I? And, Get some. I need some right in here. So I'm gonna actually make it more purple, and and again, this will cause the mountains to this will cause the mountains to look more distant and atmospheric. Uh, Make this right in here, this blue atmosphere in the background. And I think I will probably put more red in the trees right here. I'm going to make them more red because the light's passing through them. You're looking into the light and uh, at least I'll try to do that and see what happens. Maybe a little bluer down at the bottom. Anyways, a lot of reflected of, of light bouncing all over in these in this lighting situation. Okay. 
Uh, this is too blue right here. I see that right there. It's popping out like, let's just make it a little bit more red. Okay. Now, I'm always stepping back to take a look at how it looks. Um, okay, the tree's feeling heavier. One thing, if you'll come over here, Anna, I want to show people out there what I can do with my lights. Uh, I have a way to control the temperature of the lights. As you can see, I can make it the whole scene warmer, or I can make the scene cooler. Uh, by the changing of my lights and what I find out at night I have to turn and it is getting dark now. It's like uh, 730. It's starting to get dark. I turn my uh, I turn my cool lights down and I Turn my warm lights on and I want to keep it as dark in my studio as I can that allows my pupils to open up and to see color better. Uh, so this painting is, I would say, you know, it looks about finished, but um, there's still a lot of things I need to work in. I get, get more paint in the foreground and the grasses and uh, more details in this tree, more details and highlights in this tree off the left here. And then, uh, but it's real close to being done and. I'm not sure if anybody in North Carolina wants a California painting, but if they don't, it's going to be my painting and uh, a good uh, memory of, of beautiful Yosemite Valley. And uh, I just want to show you over here, I'm very privileged in my studio to have a wood stove. And even though it's in the 40s right now, uh, I often... I'm in here in a t-shirt or my short sleeves, and I like it nice and cozy in here. So, And over here, we have my map of uh, western North Carolina and all the mountains. I'm a very tactile person. I love uh, um, feeling the mountains and looking at the valleys and say, I see there's a road going up this valley from uh, Waynesville. And so that looks like in the light coming from the east to the west, that would look really nice in the morning facing this way. So I use that in finding places to paint in the mountains. Oh, all right. So hopefully in another week or two, I'll have uh, this painting on Facebook or my website, what the finished product looks like.